Hey! Uh, it's the last two chapters of Fantastic Mr. Fox. So um, we left off with one last place to visit and that was Bean Cellar. And so they had to fight off a rat and almost got caught by a woman, but they escaped. Um, and now chapter 17 is called The Great Feast. So that gives us a hint of what's to follow. So back in the tunnel, they paused so Mr. Fox could brick up the hole in the wall. He was humming to himself as he put the bricks back in place. I can still taste that glorious apple cider, he said. What an impudent fellow rat is. He has bad manners, Badger said. All rats have bad manners. I've never met a polite rat yet. And he has too much apple cider, said Mr. Fox, putting the last brick in place. There we are. Now home to the feast. They grabbed their jars of cider, and off they went. Mr. Fox was in front, the smallest fox came next, and Badger last. Along the tunnel they flew, past the tunnel leading to Bunce's mighty storehouse, house, past Bogus's chicken house number one, and then up the long home stretch towards the place where they knew Mrs. Fox would be waiting. Keep it up, my darling, shouted Mr. Fox, we'll be there soon. Think of what's waiting for us at the other end, and just think of what we're bringing home with us in these jars. That ought to cheer up poor Mrs. Fox, Mr. Fox sang a little tune as he ran. Home again swiftly I glide, back to my beautiful bride. She'll not feel so rotten as soon as she's gotten some cider inside her inside. Then Badger joined in. Oh, poor Mrs. Badger, he cried, so hungry she very near died. But she'll not soon feel hollow if only she'll swallow some cider inside her inside. They were still singing as they rounded the final corner and burst in upon the most wonderful, amazing sight any of them had ever seen. The feast was just beginning. A large dining room had been hollowed out of the earth, and in the middle of it, seated around a huge table, were no less than 29 animals. They were Mrs. Fox and three small foxes, Mrs. Badger and three small badgers, Mole, Mrs. Mole, and four small moles, Rabbit, Mrs. Rabbit, and five small rabbits, Weasel, Mrs. Weasel, and six small weasels. The table was covered with chickens and ducks and geese and hams and bacon, and everyone was tucking in and eating the lovely food. My darling, cried Mrs. Fox, jumping up and hugging Mr. Fox. We couldn't wait. Please forgive us. Then she hugged the smallest fox of all, and Mrs. Badger hugged Badger, and everyone hugged everyone else. Amidst shouts of joy and great jars of cider were placed on the table, and Mr. Fox and Badger and the smallest fox sat down with the others. You must remember, no one had eaten a thing for several days. They were ravenous. So for a while, there was no conversation at all. There was only the sound of crunching and chewing as the animals attacked the succulent food. At last, Badger stood up. He raised his glass and he called out, A toast! I want you all to stand and drink a toast to our dear friend who has saved our lives this day, Mr. Fox. To Mr. Fox, they all shouted, standing up and raising their glasses. To Mr. Fox, long may he live. Then Mrs. Fox shyly got to her feet and said, I don't want to make a speech. I just want to say one thing, and it is this. My husband is a fantastic fox. Everyone clapped and cheered. Then Mr. Fox stood up himself. This delicious meal, he began, and then he stopped. In the silence that followed, he let fly a tremendous burp. There was laughter and more clapping. This delicious meal, my friends, he went on, is by courtesy of Messrs. Bogus Bunsen and Bean. More cheering and laughter. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. He let fly another colossal belch. Better out than in, said Badger. Thank you, said Mrs. Mrs. Thank you, said Mr. Fox, grinning hugely. But now, my friends, let us be serious. Let us think of tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. If we go out, we will be killed, right? Right, they shouted. We'll be shot before we've gone a yard, said Badger. Exactly, said Mr. Fox. But who wants to go out anyway? Let me ask you that. We are diggers, every one of us. We hate the outside. The outside is full of enemies. We only go out because we have to get food for our families. But now, my friends, we have an entirely new setup. We have safe tunnels leading to three of the finest stores in the world. We do indeed, said Badger. I've seen them. And you know what this means, said Mr. Fox. It means none of us ever have to go out in the open again. I therefore invite you all, Mr. Fox went on, to stay here with me forever. Forever, they cried. My goodness, how marvelous! And Rabbit said to Mrs. Rabbit, My dear, just think, we're never going to be shot out again in our lives! 
We will make, said Mr. Fox, a little underground village with streets and houses on each side, separate houses for badgers, moles, and rabbits, weasels, and foxes. And every day I will go shopping for you all. And every day we will eat like kings. The cheering that followed his speech went on for many minutes. Chapter 18 is called Still Waiting. Outside the fox's hole, Bogus, Bunce, and Bean sat beside their tents with their guns on their laps. It was beginning to rain. Water was trickling down the necks of the three men and into their shoes. He won't stay down there much longer now, Bogus said. That brute must be famished, Bunce said. That's right, said Bean. He'll be making a dash for it any moment. Keep your guns ready. They sat there by the hole waiting for the fox to come out. And as far as I know, they are still there waiting. And that is the end of the book. Um, yay. Mr. Fox is a fantastic fox. He thought of a great plan, and I'm happy for them that they all survived, and they get to have a village underground now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Your homework for this book is a little bit exciting. Ooh. So, um, I don't know if I told you at the beginning of this, but uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox was made into a, a movie, an animated movie. And so your homework is actually to watch the movie. You don't have to do this. It's not like, oh, you must do this. But um, what I will do is the whole movie is on YouTube and I will link it on Seesaw. So you can watch it on YouTube. It just has a bunch of ads. Like it, it's in lots of small clips. So there will be ads. It's not perfect, but you can watch it there for free. Um, if you have Apple Video, you can rent it on Apple Video um, for $5, and you can also rent it from Cineplex online for $5, but like I said, I will link it for free on YouTube, and if you don't mind ads, um, you can watch it at home. So this weekend, if you get some movie time, and if it's okay with your family, you can watch Fantastic Mr. Fox. Um, you do not have to, like I say, just make sure it's something that works at your house. And if you do, awesome. Um, and if you don't, that's okay. I hope you enjoyed the book as well. So, uh, bye for now.